If y'all remember a few months ago, we came out with this video, how to start dropshipping on TikTok shop. And in it, I created a fully functioning dropshipping TikTok shop. Now that account was doing great. I was getting a couple of different sales and everything was pretty good until it got banned. Now, there's been a lot of reports of a lot of people getting banned for practically absolutely no reason. So in today's video, we're going to be covering why my store got banned, you know, supposedly according to TikTok, what I had to do to get it reinstated, how long it took to get reinstated, and what you could potentially do to help avoid this headache altogether. So if that's something that you're interested in, or maybe your TikTok shop account has also gotten banned, then make sure you check out this video all the way through so that way you can find out exactly what I did and what I had to do to get my shop back. And with that, Let's go ahead and get started. So like I mentioned earlier, I created a TikTok shop account for my dog and in it, I was selling a few different types of pet products. Everything was going well. Everything was going pretty smoothly. I was getting a few different sales. And honestly, my TikTok account was actually growing pretty well and pretty quick at that. I always say that the pet niche is always the best one to get into simply because people love pets, people love dogs, people love cats, most of the times, just as much as they love their kids. So because of that, you know, I went with the pet niche. And again, everything was going good. I was getting very good interactions. People were liking my videos, leaving very positive comments. And overall, I was getting some pretty good reviews on my products as well. So there was no issue there. Now, let me show you a couple of different emails. And this way you can also kind of get an idea of the timeline as well. So I opened this shop back in November 30th, 2023. So right at the start of December, right at the end of last year, pretty much when TikTok shop was really about to start, breaking out and when everyone was getting into it. So on November 30th, I got this congratulatory message saying, congratulations, your TikTok shop has been approved. And we got to work, we started making the video and you know, we started making some sales. Then everything was going super smoothly, like I mentioned. And then one day I wake up and I wake up to this email. I was like, what? So on February 20th, I got this email saying, this is to inform you that you have received a violation record due to we have noticed activity from your shop that violates our TikTok shop policies. First off, TikTok, that grammar is horrible. Honestly, over here, maybe you should have put like a parentheses or something or I don't know, press enter. Just fix your punctuation, guys. Come on. But anyway, these are the details. Record ID. They gave me a product ID, which is literally nothing and no order ID either. So I never got any complaints. I never got any messages from any customers. I never had any bad reviews. So why am I getting this message? I'm honestly at the time I'm reading this and I'm just I'm drawing blanks because I was doing everything the way I should. Everything that TikTok asked me for, I provided, you know, the store was running great along with my account for, you know, two or three months. So why? So then I kept reading, obviously a product ID and order ID, there was nothing. So and then it says, we have noticed activity from your shop that violates our TikTok shop policies. As a result, your shop has been deactivated. Now, this is what gets me. This is my first and only warning. <laughs> what happens to the first two strikes, three strikes, and then, you're, and then you're out, right? No, they just automatically picked something up on my store and just immediately shut down my entire TikTok shop. Trust me when I tell you I was absolutely devastated because I loved it. That TikTok shop was doing well and I was, I was making some money. But aside from that, check this out. The settlement and withdrawals of shop earnings is suspended. So any money that was on there is just, it was, it was frozen. There was nothing there. But thankfully, I had already received my payouts. So there was actually no money that was in there. But if I did have money in there, that would have been suspended too. They wouldn't have been giving me my money. So then it tells me to continue, you know, if you believe this action was an error, go ahead and appeal, do this and that. I was like, you know what? All right, let's go ahead and do it. So I kept reading. I wanted to see what they were asking for. And then I saw what, that what they need is personal sellers can send an image of your ID card. So I'm a personal seller. I wasn't registered under a business or anything like that. I was registered under myself as my own seller. Now, if I wasn't a personal seller, you know, if I was a corporate seller, they would ask me for a few more things like an EIN, some business documents and all that fun stuff. But I didn't have any of that stuff. Well, I do, but that wasn't, you know, where I was going with it. So I decided I'm going to submit my ID. So I scanned my driver's license and I did the second part, a handwritten note with my shop name and the date. That was pretty much all they were asking for. And then they also asked for supporting documents, which would be a warehouse document displaying warehouse addresses. I mean, I guess we could get that if we contact our suppliers, depending on who our supplier is, but we were using Amazon. Amazon. We can't really get that from them. Aside from that, inventory invoices. I mean, I guess that we could have probably submitted, you know, our purchase receipts, but I don't know how TikTok shop would have really reacted to that. Aside from that, any bank statements or IRS documents showing the registered business name and address. So I didn't have any of that, but what I did have was my name and my own bills, my water bill, my electricity bill. So I figured let me submit some of those as well. 
Now, unfortunately, I do not have a screen recording of the actual appeal process, but I do have another store that I had opened up under my wife's account that was also banned for, again, absolutely no reason. I was selling t-shirts on it. But anyway, at least using this, I can kind of show you more or less where you need to go to figure out, you know, what the appeal process is or what you need to be able to submit or any information that TikTok actually gives you. So this is the seller center on the one that's still banned. Luckily, I'm still able to get in. But on here, you can see that it shows that the account was deactivated and it's telling me to please review the account violations on the shop health page. Now, this store in particular is completely shut down. But again, I'm still able to sign on and check out all the different details. In your case, if you're still in the appeal process or if you just got banned, you're still going to have all of your information on here. It's not going to look as bare as this. So it might look a little bit different on your end. Now, what you need to do from here is you need to click on either here where it says shop health or click on the notifications up here. Then you can go ahead and click on other. And then you're going to see here the violation enforcement notification or any other notifications that you get. Pretty much all of your violation notifications are going to be on there as well. Again, we can also click on shop health and it'll take us to a different section, which is this one. But first off, let's go where I showed you the notifications. The notifications are so annoying because when you click on it, it takes you to a completely different page. But on here, you can go ahead and click on violations. And this is where you're going to have pretty much the same email that they sent you or at least the same email that they sent me. So dear parody t-shirts, this is to inform you that you received a violation record due to, again, we have noticed activity from your shop that violates our TikTok shop policies with no other information. So let's click on the shop health and then that's going to take you to your shop health section on your dashboard. Now you don't have to click through there. You can easily click on where it says your home and then click on shop health down here. But then you're going to see this. So again, in my case, it's showing that the shop was closed, but in your case, it could just say that it was suspended. Now on here, you're going to see your current penalties. So I have shop status penalized, scroll down a little bit, shop violations, current performance one missing target. What does that mean? I have absolutely no idea. What target was I supposed to hit? No clue. But here we can see our violation records. So let's click on this. And then you're going to see a bit more information, which is pretty much, again, the exact same thing you're getting on your email. And then you're going to see the appeal status. In my case, again, it was enforced. This one is expired, so I can't appeal it. But in your case, again, if you're still just suspended here, you're going to have an option that actually says appeal or click on violation details. And then once again, you're going to have all of this extra information. And then this button right down here, appeal, that's not going to be grayed out for you. You're going to be able to actually click on that and go straight through to the appeal process where you're going to be able to upload any supporting documentation. That supporting documentation, again, is going to be, if you're a personal seller, your ID, the handwritten note, and any extra information that you have that can verify who you are. So if you have any electricity bills, any water bills, any bills under your name with the address that you registered, go ahead and upload all of that. So that way you can have as much information confirming who you are with TikTok. Now, I'm going to be completely honest with you. I didn't do absolutely anything on my TikTok shop. I didn't do anything I wasn't supposed to. I was following all of the rules to the T, specifically because I really wanted it to work. Now, unfortunately, a lot of sellers have been reporting the same issue. There's been a lot of sellers on TikTok shop that have been commenting on tons of different videos that I've seen or on a bunch of different Reddit posts just simply saying my TikTok shop was disabled, my TikTok shop was suspended, my TikTok shop was banned for absolutely no reason. Sometimes moments after it's opened. Again, TikTok is giving you a very generic reason for it. It didn't even give me anything about any product IDs or any orders. It barely gave me any information. So unfortunately, just it was at the time, at least a new platform right now, from my understanding, it has gotten a little bit better, but it still happens from time to time. Accounts still get banned, but just know that you can still appeal it. Now, one report that I've seen over and over is called the misleading content violation. I've seen this a few different times. I saw it on Reddit. And really, that's just one of the most generic things that I've seen TikTok also give. At least it's, you know, some sort of explanation, but that's all they're giving some people. Some people like myself, again, didn't even get that. So what kind of misleading content? I can't really tell you that either because they don't explain. They could be telling you misleading content on your videos. Maybe you have the wrong product tagged in your videos. Maybe your videos are misleading. Maybe the product itself is misleading, the description, the title. That's why it's extremely important to always make sure that for one, the video that you're making or the video that you're posting and adding your TikTok shop product to, make sure that it's relevant. It always has to be relevant. You can't be showing off a dog ball because, you know, a dog video is going to go viral and be selling shampoo. It They don't go together and that is going to be a misleading content violation, at least when you really think about it, logically speaking. So if you're showing off a dog ball in a dog video, make sure that the product attached to it is a dog ball. Also, as far as the title and the description on the product itself, make sure that it's accurate, make sure it's not misleading, 
make sure you're not lying to your customers in any way, shape or form. Now, check this out. I submitted my appeal. So I submitted my appeal and I thought I'm going to get my store reinstated because again, I never did anything wrong. So I submit my appeal and lo and behold, I received this email. Dear Cozy Paws Miami, which was my store name at the time, your appeal against we have noticed activity from your shop that violates our TikTok shop policies. As a result, your shop has been deactivated. Was, oh, that this is all part of the same sentence. You see what I'm telling you? These people need to use correct grammar. What's going on here? Was rejected because missing supporting material. I submitted all of the information that I had on me, anything that could prove who I was. So I decided, let me reply back to this email. Maybe I can actually reach out to somebody, you know, seller support at shop.tiktok.com. Maybe that's an actual email that's monitored. I sent an email asking, hello, what supporting material is missing and delivery incomplete, delivery incomplete message was not delivered. So obviously there's literally no way that you can directly contact somebody from TikTok shop. It's, it's impossible. So up until now, the entire appeal process was actually really fast and very streamlined and very simple, not very efficient, but it was pretty easy to get through. So I received my violation on February 20th, which that same day I submitted for the appeal. And then on February 27th, exactly one week later, my appeal was denied. But then I decided I'm going to appeal again because this is complete BS. I'm not going down without a fight. So I submitted another appeal and I didn't hear back from them. Until one faithful morning, I wake up or I guess maybe evening because it was in the afternoon and I probably took a nap. But that day on April 30th at 8 p.m., I received this email saying, congratulations, your account is approved. Now, I didn't notice it at the time. I actually just looked at it now. But this is a TikTok for business and it was actually taking me to the ads manager. But I received this email and then I thought, wait, what? What is this? I automatically thought about my TikTok shop and I thought, wait a minute, that was banned a few months ago. Did they did they just reinstate it? And I didn't realize that it was just TikTok for business. It had nothing to do with the actual TikTok shop. But I figured, you know what? Let me check. I ran over to my TikTok shop. I signed on and lo and behold, I was able to get on. I was able to upload a few different products. Right now, I haven't really set Aftership up or anything like that because I'm kind of just testing out the waters to see how everything works. But so far, everything's been good. Everything has been working. No notifications saying that I violated any policies or anything like that. I actually rebranded the entire thing and I took it away from my dog and I'm switching over to a different niche. But yeah, just randomly one day, two months later, an entire two months later on April 30th, from the time it was denied on February 27th, my TikTok shop was reinstated. Random. Yes. Expected. Not really. I didn't really expect it to get reinstated. I kind of figured after the first appeal was denied, the second one was probably going to get denied as well. After some time again, I kind of just forgot about it and just kept on with my life. But thankfully it got reinstated and now I'm, I'm back to selling on the TikTok shop until TikTok gets banned, that is, if it even goes through, but that's a story for another time. Now, the biggest question that I'm pretty sure everyone is here for, how can you avoid getting banned? How can you avoid this entire headache? And how can you get straight to selling? Well, unfortunately, there's, there's no surefire way to not get banned. TikTok, again, is its own platform, and sometimes it makes mistakes, sometimes it makes really bad mistakes, and it deletes or it bans the wrong accounts for, again, absolutely no reason. There's still people out there talking about their stores getting banned for no reason, whether that be one week down the line, one month down the line, or the minute that they open it. Unfortunately, sometimes it's just the luck of the draw. But to try and help avoid this as much as possible, always take into consideration your product titles and your descriptions, your videos, and the products that are attached to your videos. Product titles and descriptions, again, like I mentioned earlier, make sure they're not misleading. Make sure everything is legitimate and everything that you're talking about is truthful. Make sure that it accurately describes the product. Don't go putting shampoo on a dog bowl. As far as the videos you're making, make sure they're rated pg make sure that they're not you know there's nothing wrong with them there's no adult content on there there's no prohibited content on there make sure everything is essentially i guess you can say kid friendly or at least family friendly all of the videos that you attach any products to make sure once again that those videos are relevant to the products that you're attaching to them if you're displaying a dog ball make sure that the product that you're attaching to it is that same dog ball Aside from that, whenever you actually do register, make sure you register everything accurately. Make sure you put in the right name, make sure your punctuation is correct, your spelling is correct, make sure that your address is correct, whatever address it is that you're using. And if you are using any particular address that's not your home address, 
make sure you have some sort of documentation that can link you to that address. So maybe a bill or anything along those lines. Now, the biggest thing that I want you to take away from this video is that you should still try. Just try. There's no reason to not try dropshipping on TikTok shop because whether or not it's getting banned or whether or not some people's accounts get banned from the start, it's still a very, very lucrative option that people are still making massive amounts of money on. So don't let any of these bans discourage you. If you get banned, appeal it, appeal the suspension. And if that suspension gets rejected, appeal it again, appeal it as many times as you can, because at the end of the day, look at what happened with me. Two months later, I randomly get an email saying your TikTok shop is approved or your TikTok business account is approved and I'm able to sell again on TikTok shop. And again, now there's not as many people having the same issues that they were at the beginning. Of course, things still happen, but it's not as common as it was at first. But what happens if you do get banned and it's permanent and you can't start your store again like that second one that I showed you? Well, in that part, unfortunately, you're kind of stuck and you're not going to be able to sell on the TikTok shop directly, but you can still use TikTok to market your products. TikTok, whether you're dropshipping on TikTok shop or you're using TikTok to promote your products to an external link is still a very, very viable and lucrative option. You have access to an immense amount of people that are all very impressionable, especially the younger audience. It's so much easier to sell to people on TikTok shop even if it's telling them to go to the link in your bio or just simply go to a particular website. Now, in order to get that link in bio option available, you do need to have a thousand subscribers or a thousand followers. But if you're not there just yet, you can offer some sort of incentive. You can end the video or whatever piece of content you're making. You can end it with a coupon code or something for free shipping or maybe a free gift that you can add to your order or that your customer can add to their order simply by using a coupon code. That in itself is going to incentivize your customers to actually go to your website. So all in all, that's pretty much everything that happened with my TikTok shop, how it got banned and how it got reinstated. What did you think of this video? Has it happened to you? Has TikTok banned your TikTok shop account or your regular account? Let me know down in the comments below. I would love to hear your experience with this and let me know what you did in order to get it reinstated. Did it ever get reinstated? I'm really curious to hear your thoughts on this and your experiences. So please let me know down in the comments below. Huge thank you to everyone for watching, especially if you made it all the way to the end. If you made it this far, then that means you enjoyed this video. So make sure you smash that like button, hit that subscribe button and ring that little bell notification so you don't miss out on any future videos. Huge thank you once again for watching all the way to the end. My name is Mario with AutoDS. I wish you all nothing but the best in your TikTok shop dropshipping journey and your dropshipping journey overall. And with that, I'll catch you guys next time.